Annual tree lighting ceremony at City Hall, and we're giving you a front row seat for the event. Because WJZ proud to once again be the media sponsor of that event. And WJZ live downtown at City Hall at 5 o'clock. Casey Baller on your corner. And Casey, you spoke with the mayor ahead of tonight's big event. And Rick Mayor Brandon Scott says he wants to make everyone feel at home. You can see the atmosphere behind me. We've got some crews moving fences. Everyone, everyone's in the way tonight, but there's a lot of excitement going on because they want to make sure that every detail is in the perfect place. Now, you're not just going to feel the holiday spirit out here, but you're also going to feel it inside City Hall. People want to feel and see the holiday spirit. And the smell of pine may put you in a festive mood. Streams of green deck City Hall, and visitors are greeted with a large tree in the rotunda decorated by a Baltimore entrepreneur. Some children and some families, this may be the Christmas tree that they get to see. Outside may be the only tree. It may be the only time they get to be a part of something that feels like the love uh, from the holiday spirit. Mayor Brandon so Scott says City Hall is recognizing all holidays celebrated in December. That includes December displays for Kwanzaa and Hanukkah. We want everyone to feel welcome here in City Hall. Right outside on Wednesday, City crews set up a stage and moved Santa's house from the North Pole for the annual tree lighting ceremony. Tents were also raised as officials are set to give away free coats to children in need. Last week, a 25-foot Norway spruce tree was delivered to the city, donated by the Pinehurst Landscape Company in Baltimore County. With the tree being covered in red, green, and gold, Mayor Scott wants to remind all that it's not just about what's under the tree. For me, it's about seeing the joy on those young people's faces when they see the tree light up or when they get that coat uh, that they desperately need it. And I think that's what this, this season is about for me, how you can uh, uh, give on to others. You can hear the music already bumping right now. Food, along with music, dances, even Santa Claus will be here. All the fun and festivities kick off at 6. But that tree lighting, which you don't want to miss, starts at 7 o'clock. Reporting live on your corner here in downtown Baltimore, I'm Casey Baylor for WJZ. All right, Casey, thank you. We know it's cold out there tonight, too. And so it should be so for a festive holiday event. How it goes. WJZ proud to return as the media sponsor of the mayor's tree lighting. If you cannot make it down there or just too cold for you, don't worry. We have you covered. You can stream our special coverage of the event on CBS News Baltimore at 8 this evening. I like the music with that, too.